Let's go. Welcome back. Friday night. Hope you're having a lovely Friday night. I'm going to pull up a chessboard and play some five minute blitz. Let's go. What does that make think? Oh, I hope they don't just let the clock run out. Sometimes they play it just before it runs out. Not this guy. Take two. Hover. Okay, I've got a move. With black pieces, the clock doesn't start until you make a move. So I'm going to make it look like I'm thinking, 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 still thinking. And then get a bunch of pre-moves in. This is risky. You can't pre-move here because you can push. Right that. Bishop's coming here. Carrying this e5. e5. Let's go. Pre-moving here. My opponent blocks down the center, relieving the tension. Okay, we're this twice. Only defend it once. I can grab the bishop right away. Let me first play this. And here I can take the knight, spoiling the pawn structure, and I, in fact I will, on maybe a week. Knight's going to be here. Okay, still hitting the bish. Jack here as well. Queen's not going to take. May see the knight, uh, the bishop drop back, depending here. No. This is pawn storm. Pushing the eight pawns as quickly as I can up the board. Yep, you may see something like this, try to chip away at the king side. Okay, these two moves. Hmm, I actually don't have it because knight and bishop are controlling the square. Here, I don't want to allow my opponent to play this h5, so I'm going to play h5 first. Time is about even. It's lovely. Friday nights. This bishop is more active here, but what it's really doing is hitting this pawn. And I probably should have taken that bishop while I had a chance. Okay, this is a pawn sack. We're moving here, but the idea is to open up the or get a semi-open B file for this rook. Bishop's coming back here. Take and opening up the C file. In fact, I have this too. So I'm down a pawn. My opponent's king is little. A little less safe than my king. Okay, I don't think I like knight takes, pawn takes. Then these pawns start to push through. But I do like opening up C file. 
Oh, that comes at the cost of this knight. What am I doing? Oh, okay. If queen took here, knight took here. But now this rook is... Okay, I have to... Versus check. Uh, this is not good. Okay, this is okay, actually. It's still hitting the, the knight, and this rook is threatening to come over to the C file, and I'm protecting the rook. Let's go. Okay, there's a check here. But I can hit the knight. I'm still threatening to bring the rook here. So for the moment down, a minor piece check. Yes, my opponent is insistent. But I think that's it for the checks, but now I don't have this the check here. Yeah, there's another check here. You can repeat moves. So opponent's having a think. Okay, knight comes here. Knight comes here. So check. So this knight is pinned twice. I think you can consider this with white. Play this h5. All right. Do you have this though? Just threatening to this check. This and this. But yeah, it's coming down to king safety. My opponent is up a minor piece, but that minor piece is pinned twice. And the problem is allowing this is then there's coordination here with the rook and the queen. So yeah, you can't... I'm just going to take here. Threatening to play this check. Okay, I have this check. I don't have this check because the knight's no longer pinned. Can I just grab this? I can grab it with check. I can grab it with check and then Queen is forced to take. And now this isn't so scary. You can push. And here, just getting two rooks on the seventh. Also, there's two pigs on the seventh. So you have to defend with one of these rooks. You can't defend with this rook because then there's a mate. If you defend it with this rook, there's also... Yeah, you couldn't even defend. Let's go. Here... I do here. He's dropping back. This king is the king's safety is very relevant here. This king has no safety. Whereas my king has a lot of safety. These rooks aren't they're not checking my king, but my rooks are very active. Meanwhile, my opponent is down ten seconds. Check me if you got him. Perhaps it's pawn. Mm. Check. Okay, give up this pawn, grab this pawn. But yeah. So opponents' rooks aren't coordinated. There's a check here. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, my opponent can get a few checks in here. So we're both about 50 seconds. I'm up a pawn in this rook end game. Check. Check. He comes here. 
Mm. Yep, just doubling here. The check here. The oh, this is mate. No, it's not mate. It's not mate. So when the dust settles, I'm just up a pond. And <laughs> should be winning. Don't want to exchange rooks, though. This is going to be a grueling battle. But eventually I'm going to get this pawn up the board. And now exchanging rooks would be good. But like say something like this. No more checks for the rook. Check. Check. King can't go wall here. Actually, it was best just to keep the wall where it was. Give me a moment to push the king, and now I can push the pawn. Let's go. There's a check here. King comes back. Comes back. I just want to get behind. Oops. I want to get behind my pass pawn and push my pass pawn. Need the rook. Check him if you got him. Finally pushing his pawn. Hitting the rook. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed that. Bit of a long endgame battle, but we came out on top. I'll see you next time. Cheers.